Hey my friends, welcome to our next blog. This week we're going to talk about where to hit the wrap and where on your finger to use to get the best sound out of it. So let's take a look at that. I get asked a lot what's the correct way to hit the wrap or play the wrap. There's no correct way to do it. Uh, what I'm showing you is what I found effective, but whatever way you find the most effective for you is fine. You're not going to break this instrument. It's not going to come out of tune. So as long as you're not hitting it with a hammer, you should be okay. That said, when I'm playing the center note, I'm usually using a particular part of my finger. And if I'm playing the upper notes, I'm usually using a different part. So I'm going to play through the scale using just my thumbs to start with, so you can hear what that sounds like. play it with a slap. On the higher notes there isn't that much of a difference, um, but when you're playing the ding with a slap, I usually alternate between using the bony part of my thumb, so this the edge of my thumb right here, and also a slap to activate the harmonic above the tone. For the higher notes, I find that they ring out a little more easily with a slap versus with the side of your thumb. So something you can practice if you want to practice learning to use your thumbs, I would recommend doing one hand in the center. Too, but it's good to practice separating your right and left hand so that you have the option of holding this while making a chord or a note so that you can add some more dynamics to your playing. Now I'm going to play through something just with my thumbs uh, so you can hear me playing at full volume with my thumbs and then also play the same thing with the slap. So I'm going to move you back. just with a slap. With the slap, you typically get more of the harmonics. Uh, and you're also able to activate the harmonics on the edge of the tongue. So more easily, where the thumb provides more of uh, a percussive deep noise. Either of these is correct, so whatever you feel comfortable using is fine. I'm going to talk about one more way to play. Another excellent option for players who don't want to put too much stress on their fingers is a little tongue drum mallet. Um, these are just literally chopsticks with a rubber bouncy ball on the end. And they come in a variety of thicknesses, but you could easily make this yourself. Though I don't find this ideal, I think that this is a great option for people who have limited mobility in their hands, um, or arthritis, or don't, don't want to cause a lot of stress to their joints. Because if you're busking with this or playing all the time, um, could be a good option for people who don't want to do that. So the mallet is used the same exact way. Um, you're applying this as if it was your finger. So. It is also a lot louder. So you're able to play with a softer stroke and get a louder volume. And it activates the harmonics pretty well. So you can even do a hybrid between using one hand with a mallet and one hand with that. So I'll show you what that would sound like.
very usable, it takes a little more practice, um, but as long as you're not hitting this too hard, your, your rap will be fine. Hope that you found these helpful, and that gives you some inspiration to try playing the rap with different parts of your hand, like your knuckles or um, anything you want, really. Hope you enjoyed this week's blog, and I'll talk to you guys soon.